Now, on YouTube I get lots of questions uh, uh, about tying obviously flies and one of the ones I get a lot is that uh, I've got large feathers left from a skin like say what for instance partridge skin but I've no small feathers left I've got well marked large feathers what could I use them for? Now I still like to use these on smaller flies as you can wind them on large flies obviously but you can use up these well marked and nice fibres and nice hackles for even smaller flies. Now there's a couple of ways of actually tying them in but the way I like to do it is basically to tie them forward and draw them back. Now the simplest way to do it, now what I like to do is, get the, obviously this is a piers of salt, the orange, you could use whatever you have, it's an orange thread. First thing I've got to do is wax the thread. Waxing the thread helps protect it as well as it, it basically uh, gives you a lot more grip when you're controlling or tying in fibres as well. So we can tie in at the, the eye with a couple of turns, two or three turns just to hold. With the wax thread you'll get plenty of grip. We've got the large Mr. Patrick's feather. Just remove the fluff from the base, take it out of the way. And you'll get two flies out of this easily. So what I'm going to do is bring in fibres 90 degrees from the stem, which should line the tips up. Tear them away. Come back in if we need to. Just line up the ends and tear them away. Now what I'm going to do then is just basically tie them forward. Forward of the eye, making sure they're as close to lined up as possible. Just lost a couple there, I'm just going to bring them in. Try and hold on to them, I just changed fingers there and they stuck to my finger, so just be careful when you're doing that. So, anyway, we've got my fibre. Length, when it's up to you how long or short. Now, you, I like a, times a long fibre on the uh, partridge and orange, but you can tie it to as little short or as long as you like. So you just tie it forward to what you like to see in your fly. I usually like it tied to about, say, if I'm going to be tied in length, would be to the barb tied forward. So if I draw that back, it should be close to the barb with the tips. So it's quite simply roll this round, on to, basically on the bare hook. Just allow the thread to turn, take them round. If you can see that, but you've just got to keep going, you can't stop. And then two or three turns more, and then we bring out the fibre, come in from the back. We want an angled cut, so basically come in from the back with the thread with your scissors, trim at an angle. This will help taper the body. Now obviously, make sure you wax your thread, wind down. All I'm doing here is using up long fibre. Trim away this fibre here. You'll always have one or two. You can wind to the point of the hook or so. Now, what I like to do is you can rub the fly with the thread, which will give you a segmented like body all the way up. Now, before I take the thread forward, what I like to do is blow it back with the hairdryer. So just blow back the fibre. Just like that, you'll see, you would think it was wound on, and it's as simple as that, you're just using up the fibre. Take the thread between some of the fibres, obviously a nice straight turn, and make it straight in without finish. And there we go, that's the easiest and the quickest way to tie or to use up some of these fibres. Just cut one of them here. Let's go back. There's one fibre here, I've just caught it with the thread, so I'm just going to draw it back. Just as I came through, you do that, so just be careful. Uh, I'm just going to take my time. Bring a thread right up against there. Go one, two, three. Take away any excess wax, tighten up. Come on your scissors. And there we are. Just get a wee quick blow. And 
all we'll have to do then is do a bit of varnish onto the head. And there you go. Now you'll get another fly with that feather. And it will swim well because the fibres are sitting out. A lot of movement in the fly. You see, you could tie a full of box really quick. And at the same time, you can use up all these large feathers with a nice well-marked fibre that you would normally just leave or use in bigger flies. But you can use them up, tie them to suit yourself. And you see, it's a nice fly. And uh, heating it up, as you can see, is glazed. The, the wax gave it a nice shine. Changes the look of the body as well if you do that. Uh, with that wee bit of heat, just but it sets, it's, it works, this is a great pattern, Patrick Jones is a great fly. Uh, so anyway, that's hopefully answered your question about how to use up some of the, the longer fibres. Now the water hen blower, same in that, some of the, the larger feathers, and there's not many feathers, you'd be surprised how quick you use up a set of wings or so, but as I say, this is a great way of using up any long hackles that you have, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the videos, uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.